I'm Catherine Ross, and I'm here live from the floor of the NYSE. Jim Kramer is in California this week, so joining us is Jeff Marks, Senior Portfolio Analyst at Action Alerts Plus. Jeff, the market keeps hitting all-time highs, but Helene Meisler, our Real Money Technical Columnist, is here to be a party pooper because oh, she Helene. says... <laughs> I know. She's she, great. She she's got fantastic. met her a couple weeks ago. She's great, yeah. Yeah. So she says that she's seeing continued weakness in market breadth with the number of stocks hitting lo all-time lows. But from a fundamental perspective, Jeff, are you ready to leave the party? So I, I, I think she brings up great points. This is kind of where I'm at right now. So as, as I'm looking at the market as a whole, uh, three things going on. I think we have a Fed who is much more accommodative than they were a year ago when they were um, you know, kind of hostile, very uh, focused on raising interest rates. Secondly, we have trade tensions that have eased, not fully, but eased, and perhaps it is enough that businesses will start making some longer term uh, capex decisions. And third, uh, when I look at employment, we have strong strong employment, very low, very low unemployment. We have wage gains and we have low inflation. So I think that sets up the consumer uh, well, again, um, uh, up until we see a change in trend. So um, I take that, but at the same time, I, I, I see that the market is, look, we're making new time, all time highs after all time highs day after day. So I, I don't want to be ignorant and say that a, a pullback can, uh, you know, can happen. Um, we actually did some selling today over at Action Alerts Plus just to raise cash, just to prepare for, you know, some type of pullback. So I think that's where I'm at. I think I think long term, I'm still uh, I, I still think there's reason to think the market can go higher. But near term, I, you know, we've had a good run. And I said all time lows, but I want to note that it's actually new lows. Jeff, our real money stock of the day today is Home Depot after reported earnings. It missed on same store sales. It didn't do so great with the guidance. Yeah. And it's typically a bellwether. So are we seeing a proof that a recession is still on the horizon or is Home Depot not the bellwether that it, was, it once was? So we own Home Depot over at Action Alerts Plus. We, we got into this name earlier this year. Um, it's, been a, it's been a great winner for us. When I look at the quarter today, this is, this is kind of how I'm viewing it as it relates to the economy. We're going to have Lowe's also report this week. And I think if Lowe's reports a bad number, then you're going to say, okay, maybe we are seeing some, some of the macro show up into the reports. But if Lowe's reports a good number, maybe they're taking share from Home Depot. So that's that's kind of where we're at. But as a whole, as a bellwether, I would say, look, as I look, we're going to get more into the Home Depot corner on the on the AAP uh, video that's going to come up after this. But look, there was some weakness related to some of the, some timing issues to some of their strategic investments. I think just kind of delayed things a little bit. Um, they had to unwind some of the some of the legacy IT systems that they were talking about. So. Again, I, I don't think it's a, uh, a, a, a we're seeing re recessionary things because uh, their business is still growing, albeit at a slower pace. So, so I think that's kind of where we're at with Home Depot. We also got earnings from TJ Maxx this morning, TJX this morning, which owns TJ Maxx. Um, based on that, on those earnings, is this stock a stock for treasure hunters, or is it a good stock if you're a market treasure hunter? Ooh, that's a good question. So, I mean, TJX, a new 50, new, I think a new all-time high today, 52-week high. Um, so they're clearly doing something right. I mean, it's the off-price channel. That's the treasure hunting experience. Um, I, I think it's a, it's a group that has done well, and I think they can continue to work because, because we have a, uh, a, uh, we have a consumer who is doing well, but maybe they're being a little bit more conscious on what they're buying, and they're going to go for those treasure hunting experiences. That the TJX, Raw Stores, or Burlington, which uh, Burlington we own over at Action Alerts Plus, we think that one still has uh, plenty of room as a as almost like a catch up in in terms of in terms of um, how much they're doing some selling within the store uh, on a square foot percentage. Um, but I mean, it's a good group to be in. When and when we see Coles, who is who is saying some negative things about how promotional they're they're getting, uh, they they have to compete on price to keep up with with like a TJX. So. Uh, I think it, it is a one for treasure hunters, and I think it's one where you can still keep going after. I went downstairs yesterday. We got one right beneath our building to buy one candle, and I ended up with three and a yeah, whole like armful of things. There you go. So you found three things that you liked when you were only doing one. That's that's the beauty of their business model. They really that group really knows the consumer. They really know what the consumer wants. I completely agree. All right, so now we're going to head over over to our Action Alerts Plus Daily Rundown show, and it's going to be kind of exciting because Jim's got boots on the ground over on Dream Force, so he's been emailing you all morning. I'm curious to see what his thoughts are. Yeah, so again, we we, we had a couple of earnings over at Action Alerts Plus today. 
maybe at Home Depot and uh, and unfortunately Kohl's as well. But um, I'm going to share some of the the back and forth that we were that we were going through this morning as we, as we were talking uh, on uh, what we thought of each quarter and and what our game plan is going forward. All right, Jeff, thanks for joining. Thank you. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Check us out over on ActualAlertsPlus.com. I'm Catherine Ross, and we'll see you tomorrow.